What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new stuff and let's get started. So I'm super excited about today's swatch and review because this is my first Halloween collection of the year. And as you guys may know, this is my favorite holiday, so this is my favorite season and I'm just really excited to see these Halloween polishes. So today's collection is the new fall shades from ILNP, which is called Wicked. And we've got seven brand new shades today that are inspired by an eerie forest, which is right up my alley. This is just the kind of polishes I love for this season. If you guys haven't heard of ILMP before, they are a US made indie nail polish brand. They are seven free, meaning they are free of seven of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. They are cruelty free and they're, I believe they're vegan. They've got a whole disclaimer on their website, so I'll just paste it down below for you guys. But yeah, this collection is just everything you could ask for in a Halloween collection. We've got hollow, we've got shimmers, we've got jellies with little flakes in them. We even have like a relatively neutral shade, but most importantly, we have the most unique multi-chrome I've ever seen in my life. So I'm really excited to share all of these swatches with you guys. So let me jump into it and then I will tell you guys about the pricing, availability, all the good stuff after. So roll footage. So as always with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I'm using the Orly Bonder base coat. So we may as well just start off with my favorite in the collection. This shade is called Eclipse and this is one of the ultra chrome multi-chromes from ILNP. This is my first time trying a multi-chrome from them before and let me tell you, I am absolutely blown away. I've never seen anything like this before. So this one's described as a fiery red to black shift, but that's just how it looks like when you're looking directly at your nail. Like looking directly at your nail, you see both this blackish purplish color and this bright red shimmer, but in every angle, I see a completely different color, which is so beyond any multi-chrome I've ever tried. It shifts from like a green to a yellow, to an orange, to a red, and then into that black color. And this is just like the perfect Halloween color. I mean, besides the fact that it has almost the entire rainbow in it, it just looks so dark and vampy and mysterious, and I'm absolutely obsessed. This one ended up being a two-coater for me. I definitely would be able to wear this in just two coats, which is what I have on in the intro and outro of this video. But I did end up doing three coats just so you guys could see what that looks like. And I, I don't know if I can say this enough. I'm really blown away by this color. It's so gorgeous. Next up, we have the shade Misery. And this is a really beautiful burnt orange that has a very intense scattered holographic shimmer running throughout. It's kind of like a little bit of a jelly-like formula, but there is just so much hollow packed into there that you can really get full coverage in just two coats. And it looks absolutely amazing. It almost feels like to me like a dark version of a rose gold. Like it just feels like a fall version of a rose gold, if that makes any sense. So I think it's super beautiful. It's even more holographic than it looks in this video. I kind of have a lighting setup that's optimized for that multi-chrome because I really wanted to show that off. But yeah, just a really beautiful sparkly color, perfect for Halloween. Next up, we have the shade Shadow Grove, and this one's actually pretty hard to describe. At its base, it's like a black holographic nail polish, but it also has a duochrome shimmer in it that shifts from green into yellow. So it just looks absolutely intense in just any lighting. In indirect lighting, you really see that intense color shift from the green to the yellow. And then in sunlight, you're gonna see all of that scattered holographic amazingness. So again, it's definitely more hollow than it looks in my video here, but it's just a really beautiful color. I'm glad I was able to at least show off some of that really intense shimmer. And this is just another one of those colors that feels so perfect for Halloween. These aren't like, they don't scream Halloween. So if you're not a person who's into Halloween, I think these are also really great, just general fall colors. But since I'm obsessed with Halloween, I feel like I'm just attributing everything to Halloween-y lookingness. Next up, we have the shade Cursed. And this one is very similar to the shade Party Bus from their winter collection that recently came out. Oh my gosh, I guess it's not recent. Wow, this year has really flown by. That's embarrassing. Okay, but yeah, it's very similar to Party Bus. It's a black jelly that has little flecks in it, but these flecks are purple, green, and orange, so they definitely feel festive for the holiday. It's like a fall version of Party Bus, so super cute. I absolutely love it. I love like sister shades, like shades that are like a callback to another shade that I have had previously, so I was really excited when I saw this one, and I'm absolutely not disappointed. Two coats gave me really intense full coverage 
coverage, which I think is really impressive for a black jelly. Next up, we have the shade Annabelle, which is a dark purple jelly with a holographic scattered fleck running throughout. And this one also reminds me of that same winter collection that they had because it is that same type of finish. Although in this case, I was able to get away with doing two coats for full coverage. I think that's just because I do have short nails. So for some of you guys, you might need to throw on a third. The really cool thing about jellies like this is the more layers you put on, the darker it will look. So the color richness also gets like a lot deeper. For me, I feel like this looks very deep. Like it's like a very deep purple on me in just two coats, but if you want to get that and you have longer nails, you will probably need a third coat for that. Next up, we have the shade Stay Hidden, and this is a really beautiful, almost purpley undertoned gray hollow. And this one is another just super intense hollow. It feels like it's almost another one of those jelly-like formulas that's just packed with hollow. But since there's so much hollow in it, it almost gives off the effect like it is a linear finish. So you kind of get those lines of rainbows when you're wearing it. I think it ended up looking a little bit brighter on my nails than it looks in the video, but that holographic shift in there is just so intense and beautiful. And I love it paired with such a dark color and I do really love that purpley undertone to it. I feel like there's definitely something else going on in this polish, like some kind of shimmer because it doesn't look like any other gray hollow that I have. So I, I'm struggling to figure it out, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And this was another two coater. And last but not least, we have the shade Vanish. And this one's described as a dusty lilac. For me, I feel like it's more of a grayish color. At least that's how it looks on my skin, like somewhere between a gray and a beige. It's a really beautiful neutral and it has a very subtle scattered hollow fleck running throughout. I feel like this one's gonna be the outlier for a lot of people because if you're looking for like a really intense Halloween collection, this might seem like a strange option to throw in, but I absolutely love it. And I feel like this would be such a good base for like intense Halloween nail art because I feel like this is like the fall version of beige and I think it looks so beautiful. It does help that I absolutely love it on my skin tone, but I really think this would suit any skin tone. It ended up being a three coater for me, but I think it's just a really beautiful shade, so I'll definitely be wearing it. So yeah, those are the polishes. I am super impressed with them. I was really impressed with the coverage, the colors. I mean, ILMP is quickly becoming a favorite of mine. They've got such unique and like well thought out colors. I feel like there's just so much in each bottle that it almost feels super difficult to describe them just because there's like so much going on in each one and somehow all of those elements just blend together so perfectly so very impressed this is another one of those collections where it's just like all over the place in terms of finishes but I feel like they all do really work together well I'm even excited about the neutral shade because I feel like that would be a great base for some like crazy claw nailer or just anything like that so definitely stay tuned because I'll be doing stuff like that very soon so these polishes are in 12 milliliter bottles and they retail for $10 USD each. However, at the time of filming this video, they are available for pre-order and they are at a discounted rate of $9 USD each. So I will link that information down below for you guys. You can check that out. I know I've talked about it before, but I also love the bottles from ILNP. They're really nice size. I love the soft touch caps and I think they have a perfect size brush that is kind of appealing to people who like wide flat brushes and people who like these skinny round brushes because it's kind of somewhere in between. But yeah, so I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think of these shades? Which is your favorite? Are you planning on pre-ordering any of them? You know I love chatting with you guys in the comments. I've got a lot more Halloween reviews coming soon, so definitely stay tuned for those. I've got Essie. I've got some other brands that I don't know if they've been announced yet, so we've got a lot of exciting things. And I did just recently do a video on my favorite fall nail polishes for 2020, and a lot of you guys requested that I do a video on my favorite Halloween nail polishes for 2020. So stay tuned for that as well. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you probably wouldn't want to miss out on that stuff. I don't know. It sounds like fun, doesn't it? So please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. If you enjoy my swatch review videos, please give this one a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Bye. All right, so today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Leanne. And Leanne wants to know, what is your favorite and least favorite nail polish finish? So that's a difficult question because I feel like I love all nail polishes. I'm not picky at all. <laughs> As you can probably tell if you watch my channel, you know that I, I really find the good in almost every polish. But in terms of favorites, I feel like, I don't know, I have so many favorites, it's hard to say. But I would say like my standard, if I could only choose one finish for nail polish, it would probably be cream only because one, it's nice to just have a solid color. And two, because I almost always use creams in nail art. I feel like that's super important to me. So yeah, probably creams, even though I know that's going to ruffle some feathers. <laughs> But uh, I really do, I really do think that I like those the best. And then least favorite? Whew. I would say probably, well actually no, I can think of one. Those like frosty finishes, like not, not pearlescent. I do like pearl finish nail polishes, but I hate when they're like that frosty metallic look, especially when there's glitter chunks in it is just oof, that is not for me. I have done reviews of those types of polishes before, and even though I can acknowledge that some of them perform well, I just don't think that they look good, at least on me. I don't know, maybe somebody could make them work. So yeah, I guess it would have to be favorite is cream only because I just need like a nice standard basic, and then least favorite would be those like frosty, metallic, pearlescent ones that have shimmer in them. Whew. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.